welcome to Ray's Toolbox. Today I have an old five gallon bucket that has seen its better days. Um, so I thought it's time to repurpose it, see what we can do. First thing I did was took a string and went around the top of it to see how big around it was and then divided the string somewhat uh, equally into three separate lengths and I marked those length, lengths around the top of the bucket and then I just eyeballed in between those so I had six equal sections around the bucket. Next thing I took a magic marker and just kind of free-handed the petals on the bucket. Well the sides meet the base of the bucket instead of coming straight down I went ahead and floated it out and made a little uh, small leaf to make it just a little more decorative. I went all the way around the bucket drawing the leaves on it and the petals and getting it all lined down as equal as I could eyeball it. Flowers aren't going to be super perfect anyway, at least not when I make them. After everything was lined out, I took a jigsaw. Uh, first I had to drill a hole to get my blade started. I took a jigsaw and cut out the shape of the leaves and also the petals at the same time. have to be a little careful not to cut through the bottom of the bucket. Next thing I did was take the heat gun and heat up the base of the petal and the base of the uh, leaves. Got them warmed up enough until they was too weak to hold themselves up and let them fall over. The plastic likes to lean toward the opposite side that you apply the heat. So when it's getting really thin, time to fall over, uh, you just want to be careful that you have the heat gun on the inside so it falls to the outside. It doesn't take a whole lot of heat for the plastic buckets uh, to bend the little petals over, the leaves over. After everything's laid out flat on the ground, just let it set for a few minutes and the plastic will set up on you. And you can shape them just a little bit. If you need to heat one up, let it lay over a little bit more, that's great. Nothing wrong with that. Now sometimes on the buckets, uh, people will take the top half and cut the petals out on that too and then fasten them to the back of the flower to make it look like it has more petals. That's fine, uh, it's just not what I do. After the bucket had cooled down, we have the flower shape. Uh, it's time to give it a paint job. I took some spray paint that was made for plastic, and the first thing I did was sprayed the small leaves. I painted those a light brown. After that, I painted the center of it a brown on both sides and after that had set up enough I painted the petals a yellow. The back side of the leaves probably should have taken another couple of coats just because the magic marker uh, shines through <laughs> pretty good on that but just to demonstrate I wanted to show you what it looked like how you can do this after I had it all painted up with the yellow, I did take a lighter yellow and accented it just a little bit. I'm not the best at uh, color coding things, making it look super natural, but you get the idea. A little bit of darker brown paint for the center of it. This is what it looks like after we got finished. Now all I have to do is decide how I want to mount this. If I put a uh, wooden stake in the ground, all I'll do is throw a couple of screws in it to fasten it. Uh, on the big ones I use a metal pipe so I'll take a uh, clamp of some sort and drill the holes for the clamp and put it in there. So I hope you liked the video, give you an idea of what to do with some uh, buckets if you have them laying around and uh, hopefully you like that. Thanks for watching. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet please do so and we'll see you on the next video. I think I have a 55 gallon drum I'm going to tackle next. Check it out. See you later. Bye.